Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is a Nook tablet with Cyanogen Mod 9 Alpha. It's the uh, first version of Android 4.0 that I've seen that's available for the tablet. It's still a little bit rough around the edges. There's uh, no support for the built-in microphone, and there is no hardware video acceleration, which means that Netflix won't work, and high-definition YouTube video is not going to work yet. Um, but overall, everything else seems to work reasonably well, uh, if you can get by the fact that every now and again it's going to fall asleep and refuse to wake up and you'll have to reboot the device to start it up again. So it's uh, it's maybe not quite ready to use as your primary operating system, but if you want to check out Android 4.0 on the Nook tablet, now you can. Uh, so let me just take a quick tour, show you some of what works. So you can see that the uh, web browser is working. So internet seems to work uh, reasonably well here. Overall, the uh, home screen and launcher application works reasonably well. The Android market is also working. If I can, all right, it's been renamed as Google Play and it updated almost immediately after I installed the Android Market. You can find the latest Android Market from the uh, Cyanogen Mod Wiki. Uh, just install the latest G Apps packages. Notifications are working. For some reason it's trying to download something that I've already downloaded. Settings. And just to show you again, the uh, YouTube does work, but only in standard definition video. So let's go ahead and go to my... ...account. So in HD, it's just going to sort of get stuck there, but if we turn off HD and try again, it should play. It sometimes takes a moment to start playing, though. So you can see we've got video, but the uh, it's playing in standard definition, and the frame rate is really not all that high. Go back to the home screen. Um, I went ahead and downloaded a couple of applications here, including the Kindle application. So you can use it to read ebooks from the Kindle store, even though it's a Barnes & Noble Nook tablet. Uh, or you can use the Barnes & Noble Nook application. And access uh, magazines and books and other things that you've purchased from Barnes and Noble. It doesn't have quite all of the options that you get when you're using the uh, version that comes built in with the Nook tablet, but it's uh, the same version that you would get on any other Android phone or tablet, so it works reasonably well. Uh, we've got Android 4.0 features like the ability to dismiss items from our recently used setting area. And again, just to show that we're not just running some sort of skin here and are actually running Android 4.0, you can see that it's Android 4.0.3 on the Nook tablet. Uh, this is based on the kernel version 9.6.35. There's uh, work underway on an Android 3.0 kernel, and once that's available, it should fix some of the problems. Uh, for instance, adding support for the microphone and for hardware-accelerated video. But at the moment, uh, for a pre-release build, it's uh, it works reasonably well. N not everything's working, so if you really want a more stable system, you're going to want to stick with either the uh, official Barnes & Noble software or uh, Android 2.3 based on CyanogenMod Mod 7 for the uh, Nook tablet. But for a 7-inch uh, tablet that um, costs about $250, has 16 gigs of storage and 1 gig of RAM, 
and a decent screen, it works reasonably well. And the trash guys are here, so I'm going to stop this video. Uh, there should be a version also that works for the 8GB uh, model, but uh, it's been primarily tested on the 16GB version of the Nook tablet. This is Brad Linder for Lilliputing.